hello traders welcome to this session at Samurai Trader we're going to be covering a fair amount of information in this session and you may wish to take notes so if you don't already have a pen and paper handy perhaps you'd like to uh, gear yourself up and uh, get ready for some information first of all as usual uh, you need to understand the risk when it comes to trading that is the reason you need to gain a solid education but at the same time you don't need to spend a fortune to gain an education don't forget that if you haven't already done so and maybe you are new to uh, my site or my recordings simply go down the bottom right hand corner here and you'll be able to go to full screen so what I'm going to be covering today traders is uh, information that I go into a great deal in the day traders fast track program so for an investment of $197 you get my top 12 day trading and swing trading strategies traders I still see uh, or I should say I receive emails and talk to traders all around the world that are spending thousands upon thousands of dollars to gain the right education and as many of you are aware over 70% of my traders or students and clients are highly experienced traders yet they get the best of the best out of my program you don't need to spend an arm and leg to gain the right education but what is absolutely critical is you give yourself time to learn the setups and as I cover in my training what is absolutely critical is you master one setup before you move on to another it's absolutely critical that you can execute at least 100 of each setup individually flawlessly doesn't mean they've all got to be winners of course but you've got to be able to execute them recognize them before you move on to the next one okay so today's topic we're going to be discussing how do we achieve $200 a day per contract one of the great debates if I can call it a debate is from traders how much is a reasonable target well most of you are aware now I set a higher standard for myself on income now of upwards of $400 plus but you got to remember I've been doing this for a long time so what's reasonable for a, a newer to experienced trader well at least $200 and you a day per contract I'm going to show you that in a moment on the screen when we have a look at the charts so if we consider say futures trading for a moment if you're trading the ES which is for uh, newer traders it's $12.50 a tick it trades in four tick points so $50 a point so five ticks uh, that is four net trades it's after any losses so if you tally up so if you had um, uh, well anyway look at four net trades after all your trades balance out at the end of the day is $250 less your brokerage and let's just say here you traded great that day you had four net trades in a row you would be netting somewhere around $230 on the NQ if you're going for uh, for four net trades of 12 ticks so it's five dollars a tick of course that's $240 less $20 in brokerage that's around 220 and on Forex um, uh, let's assume here that you're trading a standard lot which is $10 per pip you'd need 20 pips net after your spread etc so we won't go too much into that that's sort of beyond what today's session is really about but it's about how do we actually do it so let's trend trade if we trade with the trend my students are well aware of how these setups work it's to, you'd be trading the t1 the t2 the t25 34b and the 89b they're sort of the easiest and the safest trend trades to take visually they're very visual uh, they're pattern based very very easy to see now if you want to target a higher rate of return if you take these trades after a change in trend now of course a successful t10 or a t20 is putting you in to a new trend and there's no dot at the end of a 20 I can see that <laughs> so you know taking these trades uh, earlier in the trend rather than later in a trend that's a lot safer and you'll see what I mean and here's another critical element I want to bring up here is that thinking 20 trade blocks for probabilities that is too many traders uh, uh, think of you know oh, if this trade doesn't work if this trade doesn't work you need to 
think in lots of 20 and we'll have a look at a little chart that you can model or copy my students if you want to copy just drop me an email and I'll send it to you so you, we've got to change this because one of the greatest challenges I have with students and the emails I receive every day is from students lacking um, uh, discipline or trying to remove the bad habits they need to change or you need to change your way of thinking and just one thing uh, before we get onto this little chart and we go to the live charts is when you say get into an, a trend early like on a T20 in this particular case this is on the uh, Euro Stock X50 uh, where I was targeting 28.6 which I hit that is 75% or a very high percentage of my $400 a day per target so the earlier you get into a trend the higher the profit target you can have so rather than targeting four trades a day if you're trading the NQ if you just get two trades of 21 ticks that's $105 a trade there is your $200 um, net for the day just something for you to think about and before we move on to the charts this is just something that um, I when I'm doing uh, work with students face to face or uh, over Skype doing um, personal um, coaching with them this is a little chart that we use uh, number one I trade what I see not what I think one of the greatest challenges that we have of course we're always thinking we think too much when it comes to trading we overanalyze and by then the trades moved on so 20 rules bust uh, sorry let me get the right it's been a long day traders uh, 20 rules based trades a day I use the 8 21 34 to confirm the trade and what you do you simply put your date in here and as you're here are the numbers of, tra of trades or the types of trades that you may be taking of course my students are uh, know what all those are and so you may just be trading for an example the t25 and the t20s well you'd circle those and as you execute a trade mark it off and have a goal maybe if your daily goal may be 10 trades a day it may be 20 over a two hour period and, and as you'll see quite often you get those 20 trades in a two or three hour period so mark them off it's great for your self-esteem it's great for targeting and getting probabilities to work in your favor that is you need to take a sample of your trades not over one or two or three or four trades but over 20 but when you're trading the numbers not the dollars like today I want to execute 20 trades it just changes your way of thinking so all of this of course is covered extensively in the day traders fast track program but let's go and have a look now at the charts we're going to be looking at two different types of charts today we're looking at uh, the, right here in front of us we're looking at the ES 1000 volume or share bar as it's called on the TradeStation platform now another critical factor here is it is Thanksgiving Eve so uh, it is in Australia here the 26th of November 2015 and the reason I bring this up I had uh, an email today from uh, one of my students in Europe asking about volatility or about um, he mentioned look what what is the best market in my opinion to trade when it comes to market movement uh, here's what he actually says I'm, I'm writing for some advice I started trading yes and always stuck with it however I'm considering tried uh, trading sorry trying a different market one that trends a little better I'm thinking about crossing over to the YM or the NQ if you were just if you were just starting trading which of these would you pick so I can kill a couple of birds here with the one stone so this is the ES now one thing with the ES is because it's in $12.50 increments and there's four to a point you tend to get better flow or better trends on the NQ which we'll look at in a moment however on the ES and even with Thanksgiving I think when I checked this morning I think we still had about 800,000 contracts turn over uh, compared to about a hundred thousand on the NQ so you still got some great volume so you can execute 100 contracts at a time um, uh, and it's almost you're almost unlucky if you get a, a tick slippage so uh, the NQ is in my opinion a great market to trade but just remember in quiet times so this is the 1000 share bar you might want to drop down on lower volume days down to maybe 750 volume or even 500 so 
just look at that so we'll see the NQ in a moment and we'll just have a look at the um, available profits here but let's start off here so traders a target here is is four net trades of five ticks ideally okay so what have we got up here so this by the way time wise this is 950 exchange time this morning so the market's been open 20 minutes by the way the first 15 minutes I call it the killing zone so you want to be very careful when the market first opens uh, I find it difficult to trade I find it just moves too quickly and the professionals can really slap you around a bit when it first opens so just be careful there so we've got a perfect um, uh, t20 just here one two three four five so there's your first trade bang easily uh, now you've got a 34 bounce and if you go on on your first close below your eight one two three four five now we've come down and we've touched five ticks now just because it's touched does not mean it's filled so because it's touched what do I do I bring my stop down to um, uh, break even plus one normally so let's call that a scratch or a break even trade what you also had was here is a t25 you've had one two three four basically five candle pullback pull down here and there you go so you've had a 34 and a t25 on the same candle we now travel up what have we got we've got here an 89 bounce and that was good for five five ticks down here now we've got an 89 34 bounce again one two three four we just touched five so here you've had two or three great trades and a couple of break-evens so what have we got over here we've got right here a t20 we're after remember five ticks one two three four five you would have been filled there by the amount of candles they're almost certainly if not the pullback and away it went so traders in this area alone we've picked up our four winning trades let's just say we only had three let's just move on and have a little a look at a little more so by this time by the way we're now up to about um, uh, we're looking at 11 a.m. here okay so the markets fairly slow today remember all right you've got a t25 back here you would have been in on the close here one two it pulled back so here uh, sorry one two three four you can see here up here it's uh, it's a little hard for you to see up there but we ticked up you may have been filled at, uh, if so you've gone to break even either way so you may have actually got in worst case scenario here you've picked up um, a little bit of profit then of course uh, that also there by the way was a 34 bounce if you got straight in on this candle on the close over your eight uh, there you romp your five in once again you've hit your daily target over here you had another five point um, um, five uh, tick I should say t20 so you've already hit your $200 a day target 34 bounce another one another one so you've romped your profit target in there so let's go and have a look at uh, the NQ so the NQ uh, what we're looking at here is uh, is the 133 tick chart let me just tidy this chart up for a moment okay so I've just removed the lines just so it's not as confusing so we can see up here we've had a uh, now let's just look at this time here it's 948 so the market um, has been opened very similar to the ES uh, here remember earlier I mentioned if you hit 21 ticks on the NQ uh, and I tend to find that's more achievable on the NQ than hitting eight or nine ticks on the ES without a number of um, pullbacks remember when you start getting pullbacks you get nervous and you tend to bring your stops down and get stopped out so here you would have romped your 21 ticks in there's $105 or 100 net uh, and here's another uh, T20 up here bang so you finish for the day but let's go back and assume you're going to have a smaller profit target and you're going to do more my form of trading which is scalping T20 you romped uh, 14 ticks in here you've got a t25 you romped your 14 ticks in here uh, you've had a 34 bounce and you got stopped on this trade why remember we're going to put our stop loss two ticks above the little swing high here and a tick down uh, and it's ticked up uh, about three or four ticks up here but then we had a 34 bounce 
and bang and it was also a t25 by the way traders uh, you would have been in on this candle here and on the t1 and on the 34 and 89 bounce down away it goes thank you very much we've had a uh, a t20 here and you've also got a 34 bounce now let me just mention something here uh, and this is applicable for all traders the probabilities and the profitability of your first trade in a new trend working or, or achieving a great profit target are outstanding in other words after a t20 or even a t10 your first pullback if you can call it that one there or even this one and if we look at this here we've had a t20 this one right they're great trading opportunities because you're new in a trend the t20 of a t10 has confirmed the trend and there's your t20 there sorry t10 and you've had a t20 here and here is your t10 there so your first trades after that your probabilities are outstanding because the t10 and the t20 are basically confirming or giving you a new trend which greatly enhances the opportunity for profit now remembering one of the trading rules just before I show you two a couple more trades and then we'll finish this uh, recording I want to keep it under 20 minutes is this remember that the further away from the 34 you move the more chances are you're going to have a pullback so we can see here that we've got a uh, a nice little t1 it's also a t25 setting up here but notice how then it fails it goes up and then it ticks back and what have you got a 34b and bang as much as you didn't hit your 14 ticks there but you almost uh, and I won't run it over there, but I'm almost certain it hit up here actually let me tell you let me just work this out closed at uh, 7950 I 7950 it's 12 look you hit um, 12 look you hit about 11 12 ticks there so you would have actually gone up to uh, a little bit of profit but then you didn't hit your full target but the point is here is remember follow the yellow just remember that so up here we've had a perfect um, uh, t20 bang 21 ticks uh, or if you're conservative there you had a 34 bounce and that 34 B let's just have a look at that uh, closed at 76 just taking low for a moment 76 uh, see that's only good for another 12 ticks you got a, a double bottom there so you've got out at break even plus a couple of points but still even with that stop out you've still hit your profit target just trading that sort short section there and remembering it's a very quiet market so getting back to the question from cam uh, i love the nq but remember on lower volatility days or lower volume days like we've seen today which is very low volume um, uh, it is a harder day to trade now we just go back to yesterday just while i'm on it and um, uh, you've got these bounces 34 bounces all over the place winner winner uh, that one carried through um, they're just everywhere um, uh, but look at these here bounce winner winner uh, break even nice winner is that it was a good volume day yesterday so therefore uh, of course just look at these runs it's fantastic so traders I'm going on a little bit now but the thing is there just four trades a day but take the uh, the trend trade with a trend take the trend trades now all of this of course is covered extensively in the day traders fast track program and every week uh, I bring out new videos based around usually around the questions being asked from students and of course I give you full email support why do I train I love day trading I trade every day except by the way I'll not be trading um, Thanksgiving Day of course even though some of the global markets are open uh, volumes are going to it's going to be too thin but I trade every day I, it's my passion it's my passion to see you succeed don't go out and spend thousands of dollars if you haven't already done please subscribe to my channel go to my website subscribe uh, to my site 
go and invest $197 in your day trading career drop me an email uh, if you've got any questions thank you traders